If I had to use a couple words to describe him, I'd say he was the most compassionate person. We have an elderly lady that lives down the street and I'd say, you know, would you take this pie to her? And he'd go down there and he'd sit and talk to her for two or three hours. He loved people, he loved relationships. And there's another good one of one of our best friends with him. He liked uh, Americana music, which they call Americana now, but I mean, you know, we'd be in a plane together or something and he would just grab the earphone and go, Dad, you gotta hear this, and just stick it in my ear, you know, and go, look, listen to that, listen to that. So we had a real, real connection. He burned me CDs and we shared a passion. You know how that is. If you share a passion, it just makes you that much tighter. And we had that, and, and I miss it. I never had the pleasure of meeting August Koontz. I understand from talking to his parents that he was truly a remarkable young man, and he died as a result of sudden cardiac death due to his hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This condition that August had was something that we could have identified with the tools that we use. He wasn't dizzy, he didn't have any symptoms of faintness or... or a genetic anything. heart condition that has killed other young athletes. I sat around probably for two years and pretty much moped around and, and felt pretty bad about my loss. And um, it just came to me that if we could do um, athlete screening testing, you know, for this condition, that we could save some lives. You know, it should be the same thing as immunizations or anything else. We've chosen high school students to screen for a couple of reasons. One is, by high school, the heart's pretty much fully matured. So if you're going to develop one of these conditions like hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, we should be able to detect it. The second reason is, high school is usually the first time that a student athlete has really encountered intense, vigorous sports. This condition kills people. I was trying to turn this thing around and use the the impetus of doing what's right, by what August would say, and make it count for something. And Championship Heart has been doing this for years in Austin. So the screening that we do is to use two tools to help us identify students at high risk for sudden cardiac death. We use an electrocardiogram, simple heart tracing, and we also use ultrasound, we call it echo. So it's a very limited, focused echocardiogram that takes two or three minutes. And here's the best thing, it's absolutely free. There's a lot of things that people could get involved in with this program. They could give money, they can volunteer to help us, they can uh, in-kind trade. If we could get an endowment set up to where we could have funding that's always there, that's guaranteed for this program, so that if Bart's gone, then there'll be some other people to carry this program through because it's a good cause and it needs to continue. This money is going to go directly towards the mission and it will be a direct benefit to the people of San Antonio. Well, I think parents need to know that it's safe for their student to participate in sports. I think that is really paramount. I want to encourage parents just to be aware. If we had known, if we had had an inkling you know, he'd still be here. I want the schools to require that these kids have an EKG before they allow them to play sports. We'll fund it. We'll make it as easy and simple and convenient as we can, but the coaches need to encourage, encourage or require it. For $25 and five minutes, I could have saved my son's life. <laughs> That's hard to live with. He lived exactly how he should have lived if he were only gonna be here for 18 years. One of the greatest comments that stuck with me by one of his friends was, well, certainly he had died of an enlarged heart because he had the biggest heart of anyone I knew. Hopefully that story will not end.